G'day everyone, Viv here. I hope you're all keeping well. Welcome back. Taking a short break from the Denisovans. I still uh, I haven't got any further than that previous video update. Took a bit of a break from those. I wanted to get a bit more work done on the desert table that I've been uh, working on for the last couple of weeks now. It was supposed to be a very quick project, but I guess in the grand scheme of things, the amount of time I've spent working on it, it has been a fairly quick process. If I smashed everything together, it would probably be done in the space of sort of 10 hours or so. Um, ooh, check that later. Um, so, let's have a quick look. Um, I haven't got all the buildings done, but uh, you know, we'll, we'll, I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, anyway, let's have a quick look. So the lighting in here is not fantastic, but we'll try and zoom around. So, this is what I've got done so far on this side of the table. There is one more building which I still need to prime and base coat, but it's missing some stairs. This was a prototype model, and the stairs from the actual storage building, which is where here, this, this model here, um, are a little bit wider. So the stairs I have don't fit in that building. So that still needs to be done. The main command building, um, I still need to finish priming that building. And then uh, the little market stands. They're not going to go any higher than this brown here because I'll dry brush this because it's all supposed to be wood. So I need to finish the first coat color, this brown color on those two buildings and then those will all be ready for dry brushing. Um, but yes, so here is the main structure of the buildings. So at the moment they've gone from that brown color through their mid-tone and then their highlight. Now the highlight and the mid-tone are very close to each other but I'll show you those paints in a minute because wet they're quite different. Um, so again these have just been very quickly airbrushed and I hope that you can see that there is some variation in the color just very subtly. Um, so these are all now waiting to uh, to be uh, dry brushed white. Let's zip around straight up over the top. Need to move some things in this room. So I think from this angle here where the light's behind us, you can see the variation in color a little bit. Anyway, as I was saying, these are all ready to be dry brushed. I'll put a, a flat white dry brush on these just to help pick out that detail that you can see close up. And then once that dry brush is done, I'll hit them with some weathering spray. And that's fantastic stuff and I'll talk about that later on. So I've got another model sitting around. Uh, it's up, up the top up there. Whoa! That building there, which I'll do a full tutorial on to take it from that flat, terrible, uh, basic MDF building from our Tabula Rasa Desert Range all the way up to what will eventually be something that looks reasonably good. So there we have it. That's the update for today. Um, if you are interested in seeing my three-year-old paint some kelp warriors, you can uh, check that out on my Facebook page. Uh, the link to my Rubbish In Rubbish Out on Facebook is in the description below. Uh, she is very cute and she loves to uh, paint them all different sorts of colours. And I'm slowly collecting them and keeping them and uh, I'll wash them all at some stage, throw a wash on them, glue them to some bases and do the bases up and I'll keep those so that when she's a little bit older and she has absolutely no interest in, in toy soldiers, um, at least I've got that for me uh, as some time that we spend together. Painting little mans. There we go. I hope you're all having a great weekend. Long weekend here in Australia. So I'm hoping I can get a fair bit of stuff done. Uh, but obviously I uh, need to spend some time with uh, Charlotte and the family. Might go to the zoo again. She loves it. <laughs> I'll catch you next time guys. See ya.